But this is something you're incredibly passionate about, and it is something that has been ignored, Mark, by all yes. the other channels here in the UK. And the funny thing is I've become kind of stubborn about it because when we first <laughs> interviewed the first two young ladies, widowed in their 30s, yes. and that's a horrifying thing. You know, it's tough being widowed in your 80s or 90s, but when you lose half a century yeah. because of a medical intervention, and then uh, certain other fellows in the media dismissed them as yesterday's news. Well, it would only be yesterday's news if you'd covered them yesterday, mm. but you didn't cover them yesterday, you're not covering them today, and you've got no plans to cover them tomorrow. So it's simply because there are a lot of people uh, in this situation, and the BBC and Sky News and whatever that other opera, talk radio, whatever it's called, none of them are doing this uh, this story, so somebody has to. And it's fascinating, Mark, isn't it? Look, there, there's some of the people um, who, who yeah, that's spoken uh, that's to. Vicky who lost mm. the love of her life, and uh, you know, Vicky has been there on our is. show three or four times. Yeah, there he is, Lord Zian. They were like a rock rock music mm. guy, and I'm pretty much a sort of a feet uh, easy listening ninny. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm not too much into the hardcore rock, but they were, and they had a terrific life, and they don't deserve uh, to have it taken away from them, and then for Vicky to be totally ignored.